What's going on guys, Gabe here with Vavidor. First time visiting this channel, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. I really want you to join in on this conversation and I really want you to share the hell out of this video. And you're gonna understand why. Just recently I came across an article where the Attorney General of Arizona was suing Alphabet, the parent company of Google, because Google was illegally collecting data and location data from its users. So curious as I may be, I decided to do a self audit and I was absolutely disgusted on how much data Google had on me. I looked at my profile, my ad profile, and my whole life was summed up in icons. Everything from BMW to studio equipment to cameras, my whole life, all of my data sent to Google. And willfully, I said it was okay. Or maybe I didn't say it was okay. Google has these settings stored deep in the privacy tabs. Very, very deep. And again, everything from my web activity, YouTube activity, even my location, which I found interesting, considering that I use my vehicle's navigation system and not Google Maps. So I wasn't using a Google service, however, Google was still tracking my location. So I want you guys to go ahead and share this video if you can, if you know another Android user who should be aware of this. Again, when I show you your own data, you're gonna be disgusted, surprised. I think more disgusted than anything. So let's jump right into it. First things first, we want to go on over to Chrome. And in Chrome, we want to expand with the three dots on the top right and we go on over to settings. Once in settings, we go to sync and Google services. We want to scroll down. And as you can see, I've already deleted my history and the toggle button is already toggled, but you want to disable make searches and browsing better. You're willfully giving Google all the data and yeah, you do it on the premise that you're gonna make browsing better. Turn that off so they're not tracking your websites. Next up, we hit the back button and we're still in settings and we want to go on over to privacy. Now in privacy, we have something called do not track. And what this does is it stops other websites that have integrated Google API from pulling information from your location, from your browsing experience, from your preferences, etc., etc. You want to toggle this on. This is mission critical. This is all part of the scheme in untethering yourself from Google. Next up, we go to clear browsing data. Now, this is where things get interesting and it sort of kind of makes me believe that Google did this purposely. It just obscured the ease and ability of a user to check their activities. But anyways, we are on clear browsing history. Let's go ahead and clear data and we hit clear. But guess what? It goes back to the main privacy page, almost as if they want to get you off that landing page. Now you would have to go back to clear browsing data and pay attention to the caption, myactivity.google.com. Let's go ahead and look at the types of information that it collects and how to disable it. So right now we don't have activity. We want to go ahead and expand the menu, go to activity controls. And as you guys can see, I already have web and app activity paused. I don't want Google collecting this information anymore. Location history, I also have this paused. Google has no right to know where I'm at without me asking Google for the favor via Google Maps to tell me how to get to where I need to go. So Google, shame on you for that one. We scroll down, YouTube history. I have that paused. Now YouTube history, I'm sure plays a major part in the YouTube algorithm on what videos are being shown to you or suggested to you. Um, it's pretty much up to you if you want that toggled on or off. But if we go down a little further, we see something called ad personalization. Now, when we click go to ad settings, we see I already have ad personalization off, but 
I'll show a little slider pop up right now that you can see all of the icons or my interest, all the data that Google collected on me to show me ads. Now, this is how Google makes money, right? But again, this is rather despicable. I have this turned off, but before you have it turned off, I want you to go on over to advanced. Now, this is grayed out because I do have the option turned off, but you want to uncheck that box and you don't want Google taking all of your information and using advanced algorithms to dig deeper into ad personalization. So you want that toggled off, you want ad personalization toggled off, we hit the back button. Now we're still on activities and controls and as you can see here is toggled off but you also look at the boxes that are grayed out and I'm sure you're doing this while you're watching this video and I hope you're watching this video on a desktop to free up your phone so you can go through these settings with me. But include voice and audio recordings. Now, why would we want that? And then I thought of several instances where you might be having a conversation and I've done it, Apple Jacks has done it, I'm sure you've experienced this, where you were just talking about Fruit Loops and then you're on MSN or you're on Facebook or you're even on Google or YouTube and you see a Fruit Loops ad pop up. That's pretty wild, but Google should not have access to your voice. And seemingly it seems benign, but it's actually an invasion to your privacy. You don't want that toggled on, you want that toggled off. So we see all of this activity toggled off. And by the way, it's pretty wild when you check out your location, it knows the cities you've been to, it knows <laughs> everything. It's pretty, pretty wild. So fellas, if you're engaged in extracurricular activity, just know, She's not looking at your text messages. She's looking at your location. We go back to the menu here and we go to other Google activity. And again, we're greeted with web and app activity, YouTube history, location history, other activity, Google ad settings, YouTube not interested feedback, YouTube survey answers, comments on YouTube videos, comments on community posts, YouTube purchase activity, boats and boats and boats loads of data. So now, how do we clear this? We go to delete activity by and we simply click all time and it should allow us to delete all of our activity. As you can see now, I don't have any activity being sent to Google and that is the point. We hit the back button, get out of here. Now I want you to keep in mind that you don't have to necessarily pause all of these activities. Maybe you want your web activities active. Maybe you want your YouTube activities active, but maybe you don't want Google compiling all of these activities. Well, when we go back to the My Activity section, we'll go ahead, Activity Controls, and we manage an activity and we scroll and we click choose to delete automatically. Now this information is kept by default until you delete manually. If you're going to toggle these services on, you want to select keep for three months. There's no reason why Google should be collecting all of this data. It's kind of numbing to think about how companies will go ahead and take all your information and seemingly we are giving that information willfully because we're not aware of these toggles, of these options in my activity. They're making billions of dollars on our data. That's pretty wild and I think that's highly irresponsible. Google, you can be better. Android could be better. Or at the very least, when we boot up these phones, when we fire them up for the first time, you make all of these options prominent on the main page. And I'm really hoping that this video gains some traction and we could collectively make a difference against the corporate giant we know as Alphabet. I hope you guys learned something. This is Gabe with Review Dork. I'm signing out. Peace.